I've been doing quite a few videos recently, which, you know, they're not exactly normal videos, not like, not like um, talking to the camera stuff or any of the conventional sort of genres. They, they look like, um, well, people start saying they look like art or performance art, people have said. And I made a video a while back saying, no, I don't, I, I don't like that, they're not art. And I gave some reasons for that. But I've been trying to think into that again a bit more recently. And, I, and there's other reasons, I think, than the ones I gave. I mean, at the time I was saying, you know, I don't like the, the idea of them being thought of as art because that, that gives them a particular set of histories which they, don't, which they don't belong to, really. You know what I mean? I do know a bit about art history and I know a bit about performance, quite a lot about performance art history. But, the, you know, I, I haven't made a bunch of videos in that history, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not going to performance art festivals doing performance artwork and then putting my performance art videos online. That's not what's happening. You know what I mean? I'm making videos on YouTube. You know what I mean? And it's for me. It's this is the space where they where they've developed. You know what I mean? And then okay, they're they're doing, they're doing slightly different things right now, but they belong here, and this is where they've been formulated. And then, and for me at least, they haven't changed. Pretty much at all, really, from the very first ones I made, which were like the one I'm making now, like this one, me walking my dog, talking to a camera. For me, it's exactly the same process. There's no break. I haven't suddenly thought I'm going to start making art videos. Um, so it's, it's and as soon as you start saying they are, I think what happens is they become part of a different tradition, and that doesn't represent the truth. And also, it, it they become potentially at least become part of a tradition that people feel alienated from you know, or feel queasy about, or feel is um, uh, com commodified in a particular way, or is professionalised in a particular way, or belongs to a set of skill traditions, or craft traditions, or or that you have to have special knowledge to engage in, you know, all those kind of things. And none of that is, is how I feel about it at all, actually. Um, in fact, I feel quite resistant to those ideas. Piro314, on a, a couple of days ago, one of his videos, he said something to the effect that you know we're all we're all making art videos, or we're all artists, which I think is yeah, it's absolutely my approach. You know, to the extent that anybody's an artist, we all are. You know, we're all expressing various things and we're all creating various things. And and sure, if we wanted to, we could place it in various traditions outside of YouTube, and we could refer to different kind of histories and, and disciplines. But that's not the point, really. And that would be. Um, a justification after the fact of what 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 I think is actually happening. Uh, so that's that's that reason. But the other reason I don't like it, and this is one other, other another way of, of that's allowing me to think into this, read more, to come up more recently, is to do with this discussion about objectification, which I think Pax Gorilla initiated and I responded to, and now Laura Lair's made a video on that subject, and there's one or two other videos floating around about that. And that, that the context of that is the objectification of women and potential uh, misogyny is attached to that. You know, you, you take a person or an activity, transform it into a certain kind of object, uh, it changes its properties because of that objectification and potentially becomes the topic of, a, of, of, of negative feelings or it becomes um, of lower value because you've transformed it into a certain kind of object. You know, and that's, that's the history of the objectification of women and one of the, the discussions around that. Not the only one by any means. But I think the same kind of narrative applies to um, calling things art. You know, I mean, I, I actually feel quite resentful when people call my, my videos art because it's a, in a sense it's a way of saying, you know, that's not a part of the conversation. You know, that's not that's not um, something in process here. That's not part of the dialogue that, that goes on. It's not part of the public conversation of YouTube. That's an object. It isn't something that's flowing. It isn't something that's picking up on what's around it. It's something that's been picked out and placed as an object for scrutiny, for potential commodification and, val and devaluation in a different, different way, for um, acceptance and rejection on different, completely different grounds than you would accept or reject a different kinds of a kind of video, a more conversational, traditionally conversational video. Do you know what I mean? It's transformed. It, the, the, the video is transformed from being a a dynamic part of an ongoing set of discussions and dialogues and turned into something that's fixed and static and can be individually evaluated and you know and, and denigrated or whatever, lauded, who knows, but 
either way plucked out of the floor and I don't like that at all actually. I don't like that. And it also, you know, it has those effects that I mentioned before that, you know, people feel um, alienated from, from anything that's called art. You know, by, by, by naming something art, you're setting up the conditions by which people can feel alienated. It isn't the, it isn't the, the artifact itself, it isn't the video itself that's doing that. It's the naming of it and the objectification of it as an art object that, that allows that alienation to take place. You know, if you come across a video, particularly, if, I'm saying a video of mine, but particularly a video of, that's enigmatic, you know, what is, what, if you don't understand it, or at least if I don't understand it, my, my usual attitude is, oh, right, okay, I've, I, I haven't got the context yet. Because all the videos we all make, you know, they're all part of ongoing conversations, aren't they? You know, you come into a, you watch a video the first time, and really you're coming in halfway through a conversation. All those videos are like that. You're always coming in halfway through a conversation. And it doesn't... And to just say, oh, well, this is an object, and it has to stand on its own, and I don't have to step back and wait. I don't have to be patient. I can just say, oh, it's art, and it's failing on those grounds, or it's succeeding on those grounds. That's um, a cheat, really. It's a, it's a sign of impatience. One of my, uh, my favourite YouTubers right now is a, a woman called Ref Batch One. I'll put, I'll put a link to her, but um, a lot of people won't get on with the videos that she makes. And uh, I, think, I think she's Russian, or Eastern European Russian, I think. And she makes lots and lots of videos. Some of them very short, just a few seconds, some of them a few minutes long. Usually she's got some kind of uh, expressive dance of some kind, or some kind of movement. She talks to the camera, sometimes in very, very broken English, sometimes in what I think is Russian. Um, I don't understand at all what she's doing. I've been watching her for about a year now. I don't understand what she's doing. Um, but I really like the videos. And uh, because I've seen so many of them, I'm, I'm sort of kind of getting the hang of it now, you know. I can, I can think, oh, that's a good one, that's a bad one. Or oh, that works in the light of other things I've seen that she's done. This one is not working. Do you know what I mean? It's not, not because... But, but I, don't, I still don't know what she's saying. I just feel like I know them a bit better. Let's go this way for you so I can avoid those dogs. I just feel like I know them a bit better, you know? But, I, but, I would, but if I'd said when I first saw that video, that's art, and I don't understand it, she hasn't given me enough information, then I would have missed the opportunity to watch that couple of hundred other videos of her since. And uh, I've got a great deal of pleasure at the rather strange ones that she makes by the lake, or the ones that she made during the winter in the snow. Or the ones that she made last autumn in uh, what appeared to be a, a city in, in the Soviet Union, former Soviet Union. So yeah, I suppose all I'm saying is that these art videos of mine are not art videos. They're really not. And, and um, you know, I mean, I, I, I could probably package some of them up and call them that, but I would really hate to do that. They're part of an ongoing conversation. And if you don't get it, then I'm not talking to you. You've come into the conversation halfway through, you know. Maybe I'm not talking to any. Maybe there's nobody I'm talking to right now, which gives I'm just talking to myself. But you know, they'll loop around, and some people will be. I will be talking. Actually, I, I, don't, I don't think that's true. I think a few of you out there know I'm talking to you, and uh, and that's good. But, but if uh, if you don't feel talked to, then you're probably not being talked to, and you should either just let me get on with it, or um, just wait until it makes sense in the future, if it ever does. Like Ref Batch 1, you know. But saying it's art and therefore ignorable, I don't like that. Please don't do it anymore, bastards.